Hello friends from the past mondays we have been discussing on oral cancer then uh, white patches on the tongue also on how to diagnose your mouth for oral cancer then we forgot to really discuss on the most common topic 90% of my viewers at least once in their lifetime must have had this disease or this condition what is it come let us have a look at the video hello and a very happy morning to all of you and here you are on my show monday mornings with mansi and my youtube channel dr mansi shah friends today we are going to discuss on the mouth ulcers the most commonly found spots or bumps that many of you must have had suffered and you are definitely watching this video because you might have one in your mouth so aptus ulcers or mouth ulcers or canker sores all these are the names of the same condition friends so aptus ulcer is one such condition in which you get a shallow or a small bump on your lips or cheek regions sometimes it is also present on the tongue and the hair palate region so this bumps they are yellowish white in color and they have a very demarcated red ring around them this red ring is nothing but the inflammation this ulcers are usually round or a bit oval elliptical in shape they are marked painful yes you are definitely suffering this like oh my god i can feel the pain inside because of this aptus ulcers there are eating and talking or speech difficulties because they are painful they cause inflammation there is that burning sensation which is present and that is why eating and talking difficulties comes up now the main thing is that we should know that aptus ulcers they are always present inside your mouth and the core sore that i am going to talk about they are always present on outer regions on your lips mainly and outer regions of the cheek uh now what is the cause of this aptus ulcer so the aptus ulcer are mainly caused because of vitamin b12 and folic acid deficiency so if there is nutritional deficiency then this aptus ulcer can occur then next is related to stress so if there is an emotional disturbance mental stress that is going on then they can occur because of stress the hormones that are present in the body they shoot up and they cause this inflammation in the body which are present on your tongue and on your cheek slit region next reason is they can occur during your periods that is menstrual cycle because there is a hormone disturbance that is always present the next reason is they can occur because of some injury that is there is there is any sharp tooth or because of some dental work if you have got injury then if there are braces in your mouth that injury if there are any burns or some chemical injuries then also the aptus ulcer can occur then the next is allergy yes allergy to nuts chocolates milk and dairy products can also give rise to this aptus ulcer there are also studies that in digestion or some stomach issues can also give you this aptus ulcers in the mouth so as it is rightly said that all the diseases of your body are first reflected in your mouth the good news is that this aptus ulcers heal in 7 to 10 days and the bad news is their recurrence rate that is they can reoccur in your mouth again in 3 to 4 weeks that is hardly within a month so you need to treat the cause of it so that the reoccurrence rate automatically comes down and the females are the main target of this aptus ulcer whereas young girls young age people and teenagers are more and mainly affected because i would say that it is a hormonal uh, disturbance and also some nutritional deficiency immunity disturbance that is the reason why this age group is affected but uh, not to forget that in denture wearers if there is any hurting or injury because of the denture then it can be found in old age patients also coming down to our main discussion today that what is the difference between the canker sores and the cold sores so canker sores as we have been discussing is nothing but the common mouth ulcers but then what is this cold sore cold sores is caused by the herpes simplex virus 
that is type 1 of herpes simplex virus and the type 2 as you know is related to your lower body genital organs there where the sores are found it is because of the type 2. So this type 1 herpes simplex virus along with the UV light some stress can also lead to this cold sores but now marking and coming down to the differences the first difference is that the aptis ulcers they are usually yellowish white with a perfect red ring around whereas the cold sores are a little reddish region is present and they cannot be demarcated as one single sore aptis ulcer is usually found inside most of the times whereas this cold sore is found outside on the lip region and mark it they are mainly present on in the clusters in the groups they are found small small groups like just cloud like appearance or grape like appearance you can say so this uh, are usually found in your lip region our normal mouth ulcer is non-contagious that is it does not spread by touching or kissing but the main and the important thing the herpes simplex virus caused cold sore does definitely spread by touching or by kissing. So that is why it is called as the kiss of death disease. That is easily spreads and whenever you are affected you should avoid kissing to any small babies, your relatives, friends around. So there is a good news that this herpes simplex virus or the cold sore it heals within a few weeks but post that you can uh, you definitely touch and kiss but uh, it can reoccur in your older age also the age group which uh, in which this cold sore is found is usually around 25 to 45 years of age where the mouth ulcer is not so now the mouth ulcer as you all know is very much painful there is burning sensation the cold sore it gives no pain it is just present there it is just present as a pimple which is there on your face and does no give no symptoms at all. Then the mouth ulcer which heals without scarring. So like you get a mouth ulcer and boom it goes off. It leaves your skin with no scars at all. Whereas in cold sores you can see that there is cloudy appearance when they are healing and they definitely leave a mark behind. Um, a little whitish in color and red dots in between so like, like this they end up with a scar so this was a difference between the aptis ulcer and cold sore or uh, i would say canker sores and cold sores now coming down to the treatment of aptis ulcers and as i always say if you treat the cause you automatically treat the condition or the disease so the main and important thing is that you have a lot of burning sensation so this burning sensation can be controlled with the help of benzocaine benzocaine is an anesthetic gel kind of thing which is present and it is very easily um, available over the counters you can uh, found it in the name of dolo gel or smile or some herbal gels which are available so over the counter these gels are available you just have to apply in that mouth ulcer area 15 to 20 minutes before you have your food so what happens is it numbs that area it decreases that burning sensation and you can easily have your food then vitamin b12 and folic acid deficiency if you have then having tablets can help in that condition yes having a good exercise and eating healthy food is definitely going to help because that is what going to help you to reduce your stress and become emotionally harmonically physically stable also this sores are self-healing they do not really uh, are present after one to two weeks so do not worry much just take good care of it and last but not the least i would say as i always have been saying in all my videos anything and everything is cured by proper maintenance so brushing twice daily having a good floss if there is any sharp tooth, decayed tooth which is irritating, visiting your dentist and yes, in mouth sores I have been observing that if you use a good amount of mouthwash, also the healing procedure takes place faster. 
So take good care, maintain your oral hygiene, do not get afraid of maintaining your oral hygiene during this period. So here we come to an end of this mouth ulcer topic. Next Monday I am, being, uh, I am coming up with some interesting topic called as tongue tie. So what exactly is this tongue tie and how can this tongue tie hamper your speech and food intake. So definitely keep watching and stay tuned with me every Mondays and Thursdays. I hope you have liked this video. If you have any questions related to aptus ulcers and what can home remedies be or if you have certain home remedies which have worked for you in a miracle way, definitely mention it in the comment section below here. Give a like, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon and share the video. Stay healthy, stay happy and stay over fit. Thank you.